Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of NASCAR's Lost Teams, BK Racing. BK Racing was formed in 2012 when Rob Devine and Wayne Press joined former race director of Red Bull Racing Team. And together they acquired the assets and the race shop of the former Red Bull Racing operation, obtaining this for around $10 million. Devine was the owner of many Burger King franchises, which allowed him to advertise the brand on his race cars when they had no other sponsors you know, on the cars. The team had what they call a licensing agreement with both Burger King and Dr. Pepper, meaning that the team can advertise the brand, but the brand doesn't necessarily pay any sponsorship money to the team. So, in 2012, BK Racing put two cars on the racetrack full-time. The number 93 Burger King Toyota had Travis Quaffle behind the wheel for 34 out of 36 races. His best start was 29th, in the spring at Richmond. His best finish was 8th in the fall at Talladega. Quabble did make one start for the team in a number 73 Dr. Pepper Toyota at Darlington in the spring, starting 33rd and finishing 32nd. David Rudman made two starts in the number 93 team. His best finish was 26th in the Daytona 500. Overall, the team scored one top 10, finishing 27th at final honor points. In the number 83 Burger King Dr. Pepper Toyota, Landon Casill ran the full season in 2012. Their best start was 9th in Michigan in the summer. And their best finish was 18th three times in the spring at Charlotte, in the summer at Michigan, and in the fall at Kansas. The team finished 32nd in final points. For the, 2020, for the 2013 NASCAR Cup Series season, BK Racing brought Travis Quaffle back to drive the number 93 Burger King Dr. Pepper Toyota full time. Their best start was 22nd at Indy in the summer. Their best finish was 16th at Bristol in the fall. The team finished 31st in final points. Now, as far as the number 83 Burger King Dr. Pepper Toyota, it was driven full-time by David Rudman. Their best start was 22nd at Richmond in the spring. And their best finish was 16th at Daytona in the spring also. The team finished 33rd in final points. BK Racing's driver lineup really started changing some in 2014. The team renumbered their number 93 entry to number 23 to signify Dr. Pepper's 23 flavors. Dr. Pepper became the team's primary sponsor. Up and coming, up and comer Alex Bowman ran for Rookie of the Year honors. Bowman's best start was 14th at Talladega in the fall. His best finish was 13th at Daytona in the summer. Overall, they scored one top 20 finish, thir finishing 35th in final points. As for the number 83, Bolera Exhaust, Burger King Dr. Pepper Toyota, Brian Truex made 23 starts for the team. Truex's best start was 8th at Richmond in the spring. His best finish was 20th at Pocono in the summer. They scored one top 20, and Truex DNQ for three races. They released Truex with about 10 races before the end of the season. Some reports said the team owed Truex a lot of money, and some reports stated that the team wanted more, a driver with more experience. Travis Quaffle made two starts in the number 83, and his best finish was 32nd at Loudoun. J.J. Yaley made the final seven starts of the season in the number 83. His best finish was 29th at Kansas in the fall. Anthony Marlowe bought the number 26 team from Swan Racing. After the first eight races of the 2014 season, the number 26 became part of BK Racing. Speed stick gear, scorp scorpion uh, crossbows, and they were just a couple of the number 26 team sponsors that came along with them. The team only had to run the Burger King logos on the race car for a couple of races. Because, like I said, they were pretty well filled up with sponsors. Their best start was 17th at Daytona in the summer. And their best finish was 15th at Talladega in the fall. They scored two top 20s and it's finished 31st in final points. The other car the team ran part-time, the number 93 Toyota, had Morgan Shepard attempt the Daytona 500 with support from Support Military Foundation, though they did DNQ. Mike Bliss, Johnny Sauter, J.J. Yaley, and Clay Rogers made six starts between them, with all but one finishing, with all but one finish resulting in a 43, 43rd place finish. Mike Bliss finished 41st at Kentucky. The number 23 fell to 36th in other points. The following season, in 2015, BK Racing returned to the NASCAR Cup Series with J.J. Yaley behind the wheel of the number 23 Dr. Pepper Toyota for 23 starts. His best finish was 14th in the spring of Talladega. 
Following race 24 at Bristol, Yaley was replaced by Jeb Burton, making 10 starts for the best finish of 27th at Martinsville in the fall. The number 23 team finished 40th in owner points. Burton attempted the first 24 races in the number 26 Estes Toyota. Burton was able to qualify for 16 of the 24 races, with the best finish of 29th at Martinsville in the spring. Yaley moved over to the number 26 team after making the first 24 starts in the number 23. Yaley made the final 10 starts of the season in the number 26 with the best finish of 29th in the fall at Martinsville. Josh Wise made one start in the number 26 at Loudoun in the fall, finishing 31st. The number 83, Dust Dustless Blasting Toyota, was driven by Johnny Sauter for the Daytona 500. They finished 19th. Now, following the Daytona 500, Sauter decided to just run select races that wouldn't interfere with his truck series schedule. Matt DiVinidetto took over the number 83 Toyota full-time. They DNQ'd the following two races at Atlanta and Las Vegas. Their best start was 22nd at Bristol in the spring, and their best finish was 18th in the spring at Talladega. Overall, they scored one top 20 and finished 35th in final points. Then, in 2016, De Benedetto returned to the number 83 Cosmos Motors Toyota. Michael Waltrip ran the Daytona 500 in the number 83, finishing 30th. De Benedetto ran the Daytona 500 in the number 93 Dustless Blasting Toyota, starting 20th and finishing 40th. Their best start was 16th at Loudoun in the summer, and their best finish was 6th in the spring at Bristol. This was the team's best run by far. Overall, they scored 1 top 10 and 3 top 20s and finished 35th in final points. At race 26, Dylan Lupton made his first start in the number 83. He made 2 starts, and his best finish was 28th at Richmond in the fall. Jeffrey Earnhardt also made 3 starts. His best finish was 31st at Homestead in the fall. The number 83... Finished 35th in final owner points. Things for the number 23 were pretty solid for 2015 NASCAR Cup Series season. The team had David Reagan behind the wheel full time of the number 23 Dr. Pepper Toyota. Their best start was 12th in the fall at Martinsville, and their best finish was 16th in the summer at Daytona. Overall, they scored two top 20s and finished 34th in final owner points. Robert Richardson made one start in the number 26 Stollett. Toyota in the Daytona 500, and they finished 38th. After yet, a, yet another pretty tough season, BK Racing was in for an even worse season in 2017. Corey LaJoy made 16 starts in the team's number 83 Dustless Blasting Toyota. His best start was 23rd in the spring at Texas. His best finish was 24th twice in the spring at Daytona and Bristol. He, he, he also made 16 starts in the number 23 Dr. Pepper Toyota. His best start was 31st at Loudoun in the summer. Their best finish was 11th at Daytona in the summer. Ryan Sieg, he made four starts in that number 83 Toyota with the best finish of 26th at Dover in the spring. Stephen Mike, he made one start in that number 83 at Pocono in the summer, finishing 32nd. And Brett Moffitt, he also made seven starts for the team. His best finish was 31st at Kansas in the fall. Greg Galding, he made four starts for the team, and his best finish was a surprising ninth in the fall at Talladega. Joey Gase made one start in that number 83 in the season finale at Homestead, finishing 39th. Overall, the team scored one top 10 and finished 36th in final points. Speaking of Joey Gase, he also made four starts in the number 23 Toyota. His best finish was 23rd in the Daytona 500. Greg Golding made 14 starts in that number 23 Toyota. His best finish was 20th in the spring at Talladega. Ryan Sieg made one start at Michigan in the summer, finishing 33rd. Alon Day made his NASCAR Cup Series debut at Sonoma, finishing 32nd. The 83 team finished 35th in final points. As the BK Racing team continued to drag on and the bills continued to pile up, the team began the 2018 NASCAR Cup Series season with Greg Golding behind the wheel of the number 23 Toyota. At the same time, it turns out that the team filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Therefore, Rob Devine was no longer the owner of the team. The number 23 became a single car team and formed a partnership with NY Racing. Golding made the first 17 starts of the season. His best finish was 20th twice in the spring at Daytona and Texas. J.J. Yaley made 13 starts for the number 23 team. His best finish was 17th at Las Vegas in the fall. Blake Jones made three starts. His best finish was 27th in the fall at Bristol. Spencer Gallagher, Joey Gase, and Alon Day each made one start apiece. Gallagher scored the best finish. 35th in the summer at Watkins Glen. 
The team finished 35th in final honor points. This would end up being the team's final season. Front Row Motorsports bought the number 23 team in the bankrupt Repsy auction. They renumbered the number 23 to the number 36 for Matt Tiff to drive in the 2019 season for Front Row Motorsports. Overall, the team did not score very good results, especially for how many starts they made. In, a hundred, in 430 starts, they scored zero poles, zero wins, one top five, and three top tens. Their best finish in points was 27th by Travis Quaffle in 2012. Thanks for watching this edition of NASCAR's Lost Teams. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, click that like button. Thanks, y'all. Take care.